Good afternoon, everybody. Marty Richards with Richland Center Tourism again. Uh, just catching you up on our main attraction, and that is today we're covering in our episode of why do we call it that, the city of Richland Center. Richland Center has kind of an interesting history. Several times it really almost did not come to be the county seat, and there are also some interesting things of how even the city uh, came to where it is today. But the short story of it that we'll cover today, Ira Hazeltine was very important and uh, had, a, had a strong uh, effect on the formation of the city. Many of us that have been in the town for quite a while know uh, Hazeltine Street is a, you know, a very main thoroughfare here. Um, Ira Hazeltine was not actually the first person to own the land where the city of Richland Center sits today. That was actually John Dillman. John Dillman was given the land originally by the United States government as a reward for the fighting that he had done in the Seminole and Mexican Wars. So that was given to him by the, by the United States government. Uh, Ira Hazeltine came along because John Dillman really at that point had no interest in forming a city or plotting it out. And in 1851, Ira Hazeltine purchased the land that really is now the core of Richland Center. He platted it out. Uh, as we do further episodes, we'll kind of go through some of the kids. He named streets after his kids, after his family, after his wife's family. And so we'll cover some of those. They're really interesting. A couple of interesting facts about Richland Center. So there are 19 states who have cities named Richland. And I've even been to a couple of them. One out in the Tri-Cities area of Washington State, which is not very far from where our daughter lives, but Richland, Washington. Uh, however, there is no other Richland Center in the United States. There are several counties, Richland counties, uh, North Dakota, Illinois, Montana, Ohio, South Carolina, and Louisiana, all have Richland counties. However, there is no other Richland Center in the United States. So we've got that going for us, which is nice. Um, so how did Richland Center not uh, end up the way many towns did, and that is carrying the name of the person who really settled the city? Uh, you'll, you'll run into many cities in the United States and, and Wisconsin that the person who originally settled the area or bought that land, their name ended up going with the city. Well, in Richland Center what happened, originally uh, at the time that Ira Hazeltine was kind of buying the land and setting the plats out, there already was a county government starting a formation of one at what was called Richland City, which is now gone. It has disappeared. It's a ghost town. Uh, just a few remnants of foundations remaining down on the river, on the Wisconsin River by Gotham. But what ended up happening when Ira Hazeltine came, formed the city, got everything going uh, for the city government, uh, he was kind of debating the name of the town, what should he call it, and really geographically, Richland Center is truly in the center of the county. Uh, Ira Hazeltine went with Richland Center, and there we are. Uh, a little bit of a head, head nod to uh, my friend Lon Arbogast, former uh, tourism director here at Richland Center. As Lon, he loved to say, it's in the center of it all, and that's very true. So that's... Uh, really a good explanation of why it's Richland Center, not Hazeltineville or Hazeltineburg. Uh, also just some real basic interesting facts about other uh, geographical things regarding our county government. So we're glad you're joining us for these. We've got quite a few more coming, uh, very informative about Richland Center and Richland County in general. Uh, we hope that you'll subscribe to our YouTube videos and also like the different videos. We, we'd love you to join us with them all of the videos to come and that's a good way to make sure that you do get notifications when they come down your way. So from Richland Center Tourism, uh, your 2020 choice destination as determined by Discover Wisconsin, we look forward to seeing you when, when you can come and we hope that we show you a couple of things of interest that you'd like to see when you're here. Have a great day everybody.